Hi, I'm Nick Houston here for Gotham Sound and Communications. Uh, today we are talking about the brand new Zaxcom TRX IFB. TRX for transmitter, receiver, same kind of nomenclature that Zaxcom has always had. Uh, and then FB uh, for foldback uh, as part of interruptible foldback, which of course uh, we usually shorten to IFB, uh, which you would see, uh, you know, I usually associate with Comtex, electrosonics. Uh, either way, some kind of way to get feedback uh, to the talent to be able to hear. Um, so, as you can see, it's pr it looks very similar to all of the existing Zaxcom um, stuff. Uh, it's a little bit taller because it's got a little bit more stuff in it. Uh, the power switch is up here, the antenna's here, um, three pin Limo connector, as always. Um, one new thing here is this button. Now uh, this is a, uh, a push button and it can, it's multifunction programmable. Um, right now you can either have it be push to talk or push to mute um, or, or nothing at all. Um, in the future, future um, applications may be that you could actually push to output time code um, or do push for private line, uh, which would certainly be useful as well. So those are some of the future versions that Zaxcom is looking at implementing. Um, so, that, so that's the new part of the top. The front part is all very similar to how it's always been. You've got your menu buttons, your record, stop, up, down, uh, and all that fun stuff. Uh, and then on the sides, you've got two locking uh, tip ring sleeve connector. The left hand side is the one that's currently active. That'll be your uh, IFB output. And the right-hand side is just room for uh, room for improvement. So one of the things that's nice about these connectors is that they are locking. So you can use a locking 3.5 millimeter, very similar to the um, the output of say the ERX3 or even the Sennheiser G3, uh, so that there's no chance that um, you know, your talent's just going to pull their their earpiece out by accident. Um, it takes two AA batteries. Um, we just got this in today, so I can't really tell you how long it takes. And on the inside, and this is a little bit hard to see with the camera angle. Um, how can I show this? There. You can see it right there. That, that little white sliver, that is where your micro SD card goes. So this unit, the TRX IFB, has all of the good things that um, the TRX LA three has and the LT3 has. Um, same uh, you know, 100 milliwatt max output power, uh, same recording capability uh, using MARF, still uses Neverclip to give you an increased amount of dynamic range, um, yeah, still uses Zaxnet to be able to do uh, time code recording, remote roll, uh, all that fun stuff. And what else? Gosh, there's all the things that Zaxcom does, this does. Uh, in addition to being able to output um, to output audio via IFB. Uh, so, um, a couple of applications that could be used for. Um, so first of all, this is great for, uh, for people that are doing things that require uh, feedback, that require prompting from off screen. So potentially this one box can replace these two boxes on my hip. You see I have a transmitter here and an IFB here. Uh, so this one box, if you look, is smaller than both of them combined, certainly, and really about the same size as each one individually. So this will make it a lot easier for your talent just to be able to put one box on, connect the lav, connect the earpiece, and you're good to go. Um, other potential applications, uh, so that's for really for broadcast. Uh, so for stand-ups like this, like I could start using this to do these kinds of things uh, from here on out. Um, you know, news anchors, in the field reporters, all that fun stuff, so that they can get prompts from off screen when there's when there's breaking news. Hold on a second. Yes. Okay, I understand. Um, so, um, so that's one thing. Another potential thing is for uh, giving you increased flexibility for when you are doing uh, narrative work. So if you had, uh, if you wanted to do hard, a neck loop with, uh, with an earwig, you could plug the neck loop into here, use the earwig, and uh, people could hear music for playback scenes in their earwigs, or they could hear um, 
you know, or they can hear director's prompts or really whatever mix you want to send to them. Uh, and then lastly, but not least, this was a new idea that uh, somebody came up with today. When you're working in a car um, and you, know, you need to do plant mics, you could also use, you know, there's not always a lot of room in cars, so you could stash this up in the visor, run your plant mic to it, and then take the output of this and use it to feed the camera um, so that you're not putting a bunch of different boxes inside and all that fun stuff. Um, so potential, potential uses for it definitely, um, definitely increases flexibility. So let's just turn it on and see how it looks. It's a pretty standard Zaxcom menu. Uh, right now we have it set up um, via Zaxnet with, uh, with a TRX IFB, so it just took the time code jam automatically. Uh, there's no card in here just yet, but we can just go through the menu, we can change the gain, all normal, the transmit frequency. What, how, what do we want to monitor in the IFB output? Right now it's set to IFB, um, whatever we're recording and whatever we're playing back. We can change that to just record and play if we want to just hear what's coming off the transmitter. Um, you can change, you can adjust the side tone gain. What the side tone gain is, uh, is actually what is the gain, what does your microphone sound like? What is the live feed from your microphone? So some people, not me, but some talent like to be able to hear themselves in, uh, in the microphone so they know what, they, what they're saying, what they sound like uh, against whatever it is that they are being fed via the IFB. Uh, so you can adjust the side tone gain here and you can bring it all the way up to 24 or have it set to off uh, and it locks and that's basically uh, the main menu. There is an extended menu which is basic, it's, it's very similar to how the um, to how the TRX LA35 works so um, and and the ERX it's just jammed a little bit more into the same menu so you just um, push and hold menu while you turn it on Okay, it takes the time code jam, it sees the time code jam. You've got the transmit menu, you've got the record menu, we've got, uh, we've got the home menu, the setup menu, the time code menu, uh, and the audio menu, and all the options. If you're, if you're familiar with Zaxnet, all the options that you're used to uh, are still there. So I think right now what, the, uh, what we should do is just you know, hook it up uh, and just have the, the proof be in the pudding. Okay, so. Just to make the, the levels dance, and we're not going to actually listen to what this sounds like, because we know what, what a Sankin plugged into a Zaxcom sounds like with never clip. It sounds good, but the levels dance. And um, just to prove that this works and sounds good, there's, there's the levels dancing. Hello, levels. There you are. Um, and just to prove that this works, I'm going to ask my producer, uh, Joe, what's his name? Joe, am I forgetting anything? Can you... Uh, can you help me out here? I've, oh, what I've done is I've plugged the output of the TRX IFB into the speaker. Um, so we're going to see, Joe says I've forgotten anything. Breaking news. Uh, you have not forgotten anything. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Breaking news. I have not forgotten anything. That is actually the uh, TRX FB working, um, which is great. So. Um, other things to know about it, it's the same as Axcom, high band, low band. You can get the, uh, the TRX FB uh, 3.5 or the TRX FB 3.6. The 5 being for 500 megahertz, the 6 being for 600 megahertz. The 5 covers block 20, 21, and 22. The 6 covers um, the rest of them, uh, 24, 25, and 26. And 23 is kind of split in half. Um, but it's 100 megahertz bandwidth. They're, going, they're shipping now. Um, we've already shipped a couple out the door. And uh, they are 1995, which, if you were thinking about getting a TRX LA35 and an ERX, uh, you save like eh, $300 or so. Um, yeah, that seems about right. Three, three fifty, something like that. So, shipping now available now. Um, Joe, any questions from the audience? Uh, Brad use the Bernard thing. Says, use the thing. Joe, use the thing. Oh, okay. Bradley asked, can I put that on a camera and monitor audio? I'm sending the cam. Can you put that on a camera and monitor audio sending from a camera? Absolutely. Um, it would work. 
you would take the, it would, you know, just be a scratch track because this is an IFB. Um, so you wouldn't want to use it as your primary audio if it was, you know, if they weren't syncing back to you. But you can use this to output um, uh, clean sounding audio into the camera. And then you could take a specially made cable to take the headphone return from this uh, and go into this three pin limo jack and then go and then transmit back to yourself. That would absolutely 100% work. Um, yeah. Anything else, Joe? Remember, use the mic. Use the mic, Joe. Get no. Use the mic. Come on, Joe. Use the mic. No other questions. Okay, very good. Well, anyway, um, if you have any future questions, we're always available here at GothamSound.com. You can post a, a question or comment in this video. We do try and get back to them as soon as, uh, as, soon as we can. Um, you can watch this in other videos on Vimeo or YouTube in our archives. Um, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. You can also ask us questions there. And uh, if you have any ideas of things you'd like to see in the future, and we've gotten some great ideas that are coming down the pike, you can email them to info at gothamsound.com. Um, thank you. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, this has been about the Zaxcom TRX-FB. Uh, I'm Nick Houston for Gotham Sound.